everyone and welcome to another Command and Conquer Zero cast. This time we are on the beautiful map, Tournament A, very good map, um, not very often seen in the community, um, but excellent map. And today I'm not alone here because today someone is with me and this is... Hello, hello people, my name is Rachilli and yeah... Many people maybe know me as Song, and today I'm here um, to help and to cast with CNC HD another really good replay. And yeah, let's see if it if it's good or not. Yep, and uh, we will indeed see it. This is, by the way, a two v two game in a tournament called Two v Two Revora Tournament. I think it was started in something with 2014. If I remember correctly, and it was to um, introduce the new community service called Revora Online. Okay, but let's go into this game. We have at the left side of this. Uh, no, I will start with the right side because I can. Okay, here on the right side, we have at the bottom right position the Air Force General in his blue color, and it is played by. Bad boy, bad boy, bad you, what you gonna do? <clears throat> yeah, and uh, bad boy is allied with another Air Force player, and this is reverence. And to note this right here, both players are brothers. So let's see if both players are going to play uh, like each other. Um, so synchronical, if this is the right word, because brothers can always train together, they are like uh, really pros in team play because they know each other from the beginning on, they came on the world and started playing games together, so very good. And uh, do you want to introduce the left side? Of course, yeah. On the left side, on the bottom, we have the, the tank player in the color orange with the name iFuck Virgins, also known as DK Crazy. And on the top, we have the GLA Toxin General with the name Isle of Virgins, also known as Sexy. So both players on the left and on the right are German. So we have basically only a German fight is on, the, on this map. And yeah, let's see what's going on. Yeah, and I would say we start the game in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so the game starts and all players start producing shit now. I think it will get very confusing to um, remember who is Sue on the left side because uh, everything ends with virgins and everything begins with I. So, uh, yeah, we just need to remember that orange is uh, DK Crazy and that pink is sexy. If we me can remember this, then everything will be good. Yeah, and what we can see already is that I fuck virgins, so DK Crazy is playing on three doses right at the start and keeping his command center as it looks. That is so a pretty risky build, I would say, because going for three doses is expensive, but then not selling the command center is super expensive. Then we can see that he's going for a barracks right away to capture these Oidrex to get um, the money back which he lost uh, f because of this um, build order. Yeah, and another thing which is quite interesting is that Bad Boy is, is um, placing his War Factory um, quite, uh, quite near to the, to the middle, so a pretty aggressive um, placement of him, yeah. I would say. There's a Missile Defender coming in on the bottom side, wants to laser lock down this dozer, but DK Crazy is careful enough and pulls back his dozer and sends his red guards to this position. Meanwhile, we can see that in the middle is some action going on as well. We have a tunnel going up for Mr. Sexy, who plays down a very sexy tunnel there, looking pretty beautiful there with the gun on its uh, on its top, yeah, like a big sexy gun. All right, and the reference denies the tunnel. Very good. With the Comanche very well executed yeah. there. Also kills another worker there. So Sexy forced to send some quads there into the middle to deny any further progress there of reverence. Because if the 
right team gets too much of the middle, it will be GG for the left team. Yeah, and what we can see now is that DK Crazy is placing a second war factory right after this, I would say, a, a pretty slow start. So he can spam against those Comanches who, will, who we will see pretty soon from reference. Yeah, pretty interesting build order there by Sexy. I mean, he first lost a lot of cash and then he goes for two war factories, but he has the money. He is uh, standing on three supply centers and two oil racks, so he definitely can afford two war factories. I think yep. he would also be able to pump out of three war factories, actually. So the first bigger engagement now from Bad Boy and DK Crazy in the middle. Oh, but losing a Humvee there. Yeah, also the big army of Sexy is joining the party. At the same time, you can see at the top position, Command, she's coming in and denying, not denying the Stinger side. Ooh, this was a big mistake there. Oh, he, he could get it if he would stay. Yeah, but he's flying back and maybe losing one Comanche. No, that was close. Oh, but, yeah, but he had the opportunity to deny the Stinger side, but he did shoot on the Stinger and not on the Worker. Bit of a misclick there. Eric's going up at the bottom side of the middle and uh, another tunnel there as well. So we can see that DK Crazy heavily going on Gatling tanks. But this is uh, no surprise because both enemies are air. Oh, pretty good micro on the bottom from Bad Boy. Killing all the RPGs without losing any Humvee. Yeah, that was pretty good. Also, there are the Comanches now to support the ally. But there are many Gatling tanks with the chain gun upgrade. So they actually rip through those um, planes if they want to. The chain gun upgrade is so important against an air player who actually goes on uh, planes. But the Comanche is now sneaking in. I think DK Crazy can hear um, the Comanches, but he don't know where they are. Yeah. But he should. Pretty, but pretty he heavy should. attack on the bottom now. Yeah. Right on the Gatling tower. Yeah, and I think he will get it, but will lose one or two Comanches there, and he loses one. But it was worth it, and all the supply trucks are now in danger and will get shot. But the Gatling tanks coming in and getting one Comanche there. Pretty well done by DK Crazy to um, secure his base. Yeah, but during this team, um, Virgin is attacking through the middle. Yeah, they have a big force there. And getting the supply center there, it is destroyed. And the command, she's in the meantime in DK Crazy's base, finishing off one of the supply centers. Humvees of Fat Boy coming in, but ooh, look at this, he has a white Humvee. Yeah, but the Gatlings are approaching reference base. But I think he has enough commands to stop this. But yeah. he's losing two Chanaks. One rocket pod and all the Gatlings are gone. And there's the rocket pod. DK Crazy splits his Gatlings and manages to get one Comanche but losing four supply trucks. The Comanche is now standing there on the left side and uh, they finished off another supply center of DK Crazy. And they are now camping this position and waiting for the right opportunity to go in. A palace is going, uh, went up for um, a sexy. So yeah. sexy on attack. Yeah, that's that's quite um, hard to deal with these Comanches. They are stealthed and they can basically fly wherever they want. So it's not that easy for Tank to deal with this. Yeah, and I think DK Crazy will in will get another supply center, and there it goes. He will lose one Comanche though, but the supply center gone. So DK Crazy lost three supply centers and did rebuild his main, but a big lost there for DK Crazy. He also lost one oil drag. Yeah, and the bottom oil, uh, the top oils are also completely destroyed. Yeah, I think uh, Bad Boy finished them off, if I remember correctly. Okay, so it looks like the right team wants to attack on the top side now. We have a lot of Comanches there sitting on the top and some Humvees. Also some Comanches on the bottom. So Comanches everywhere on this map and a big quad and gatling uh, army is preparing the assault on the bottom side of this map we can also see the quads doing a bit of a split there because they fear comanche attacks but there were no comanches at all inside 
Yeah, but during this reference, it's clearing um, some tunnels on the top, making sure GLA is not expanding that much. Yeah. Oh, there comes the Stinger again, and chasing away the Comanches again. I think the Comanches would be able to take it out, but there are so many quads there on the bottom. Also, John Kell running around there. Middle being cleared out, and there's the beautiful black agent Lotus on the oh, map. You can see this. Uh, the Lotus is um, walking through the middle, so the Comanches get um, yeah get get seen. Hmm, that's true, but uh, Lotus, oh yeah, Lotus now, yeah, I see it, and all the Comanches are discovered, but uh, four stay in the middle, and the rest um, goes into the main base again, and the uh, Humvee is now having a little engagement there, and a bomber coming in, finishing off the dozer, but no building at all. Little fight now here between the Gatlings and the Humvees. And in the meantime, we can see that the quads moving in and the Black Lotus capturing the oil refinery now. Oh, pretty good attack. With the Humvees combined with the with the bomber. Yeah, Spectre During Gunship. Spectre Gunship now finishing off those Gatling tanks. Very well done there by Bad Boy. Yeah, with the quads in his back. Is he, now he's forced to... Uh, to drive forward. Yeah, and, and if some Gatling tanks are coming in from the left side, he will get sandwiched there. And there's absolutely oh, no way he's going to survive this. Yeah, the mix finishing them. Oh, very nice. Also have Black Napalm. So that was it for Bad Boy. Oh, we, had a f we have a big en uh, engagement there in the top position with the Comanches. And they're Ooh, moving but in. Oh, but losing quite a lot. Yeah, there are palace, there are quads, there's a stinger side, there's everything you don't want to fly in. Yeah, but but destroying one or two black markets plus uh, a supply was, I think it was quite worth. Yeah. But if he lose one more Comanche, it was not worth it, but he gets away and the damage has been done. And that was a good attack, I would say. Okay. So far, I would say it looks pretty good uh, for the I Love Virgins and I, I Fuck Virgins team. So for the Virgins team, I mean, they are pretty in pretty good shape here. Yeah. Also, they try to um, rebuild their supply in the middle and try to get the, the control over it because pretty soon their their main supplies will will be empty. So. Oh, look at the top position, the mix standing inside of the Comanches. Ooh, good thing the Comanches were not discovered. The mix would just rape those Comanches in the air. Quads coming in there from the top and uh, artillery strike targeting the base of Reverence. I think the strategy center is the target. And yes, it is. Strategy center finished. Yeah, very nice defending from reference. Yeah. Killing the, the, the first quad army. But oh, another I one is coming. Yeah, very well executed there. Oh. But so many quads. But if they stay like this, they will get, get raped by the rocket pots. And there are the rocket pots doing the split too late and losing yeah. so many quads. And during this, uh, another um, Comanche army on the top left is destroying another black market. Yeah, I see. And black market gone. But the palace now opening fire, but there seems to be only one RPG inside that palace. Oh, there are the mix now and the Comanches cannot attack because of the mix. Because our mix, mix are so strong against air units. Spectre guard ship coming in and an A-10 missile strike. Targeting both bases of the virgins. Oh, and the palace survives with one HP. Wow, and also the airfield survives. But I think the Comanches now will finish off that palace the mix. Very dangerous. Destroying the palace during the mix are out there. Yeah, this is going to be very dangerous and the Comanches are opening fire and... Ooh. Why are the mix not shooting? 
they were I think they were not on guard mode or something. Oh, if they would have been on guard mode, this would have been so good for the Virgins team. But losing that palace is so game changing right now. Yeah, but another huge Comanche army is pushing through the middle together with one Wii with an ambulance. Yeah. Very good, destroying the middle supply again. Yeah, I think you're a bit ahead. Let me. Okay, now now we should be synchron again. Oh, such a huge Gatling and uh, Quad army in, in the middle, but so many Comanches as well. And the Comanches now at the top left, targeting the reactor and the supply stash. Reactor gone, uh, not now it's gone, and Amsilar survives. But that was another good attack there by Reverence. Also, the Gatlings have the ECMs in the mix, so rocket pods will not be so effective. Okay, um, I love which it's ga just gave up. Yep. Yeah. Colonel Burton finishing off one supply truck there, very good. And the huge army of, uh, yeah, only DK Crazy is left, so the huge army of DK Crazy now moving in there from the bottom and the Comanches um, getting, oh, losing so many Comanches, do you see this? Yeah, he lost basically the half of his army. Wow, and that's just for one supply stage, which is not finished yet. Yeah, basically mm. for one tunnel only. Yeah. Wow, that was a huge loss there for Reverence. And now the Gatling army is moving in and the target is the top right position. And there's absolutely nothing to stop this attack. Only a few armies there from the bottom. Yeah. And why is the army moving back? Only because of one Humvee and one Tomahawk? Uh, I think he... He saw that coming, that any bomber is maybe attacking. Yeah, and bomber coming in and finishing off three Gatling tanks. Yeah, yeah that's, that's okay. I mean, he could have lost way more. Uh, Comanche is now finishing off a tunnel and Armsler plus barracks at the top left position. And the Gatling army moving back, it looks like. Yeah, DK Chrissy has to do anything here. I mean, okay, he has the middle and a supply, but what can he do? The Comanches are so fast and they destroy his base in his back before he can do anything. Yeah, artillery strike now coming in, targeting the war factory and the barracks by the looks of it. Yeah, looks like it, yeah. Let's have a look at the money. DK Crazy sitting on 1,700 reverence on 10,000 cash. Are you yeah. shitting me? Wow, it's over 9,000. <laughs> And his teammate, bad boy, on 10. 10 cash. Yeah. $10. And getting attacked right now. Oh, that A 10 missile strike got some tanks because of the ECM. And the Gatling's now standing in, uh, in the middle of uh, bad boy's base and just enjoying uh, the looks of the base. Comanche's mm -hmm. now in there and trying to defend the base of bad oh, boy. There's a bomber. Oh. Oh, nicely placed there. Plus the Comanches now, very good, finishing off yeah. the last gets. But now the Comanches need to be careful. Very good. Uh, pulling them back in, uh, in time, that was good. Only a few Gatlings left and they cannot harm the base any longer. They could destroy the reactor. But looks like they are not going to do so. A Spectre gunship coming in and... Uh, Reactor is now under attack and I think the Gatling is able to destroy the reactor and yes, reactor gone. At least something, yeah. Yeah. Reverence still sitting on 10k cash. What is he planning to do with all the cash? Upgrade. All of his airfields are empty. He could at least build some Comanches or build some, no, not, not King Raptors, King Raptors are not good in this game, but build something, but he, he's not doing anything with the cash. 
Yeah, and the Comanche's finishing again, the middle. Yeah. Oh, almost losing one Comanche there through the building. And uh, now completely finishing off the supply stash there. But DK Crazy still in a very good shape. And uh, Bad Boy plus his brother are struggling a bit, a bit against DK Crazy, who's in a crazy mode right now. Okay, Comanches cannot um, target down those quads and Gatlings, but they are trying it anyway. And wow, what a surprise. They actually got all the units there without losing a single Comanche. That was good. Reverence, do something with your cash. Do something, but don't sit on it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the worst choice. Wow. Just sitting on 10k all the time. Spectre Gunship manages to get through and is able to attack um, the internet center but gets shot down there very easily. So it looks like DK Crazy is preparing an assault there on the top and is rebuilding his supply stash. Very good to get in some cash. He is sitting on zero, zero black markets, only those few hackers. If he would mix at least one or two flamers into his Gatling armies, he could really destroy something. Yeah, that's true. And the Comanches, it looks like they want to attack on the bottom side of the base of DK Crazy now, but there are four Gatlings standing inside of DK Crazy's base. Finishing the sub the in no time. Yeah, that was quick. Do you see how much veteran they, they have or they got? The Comanches, in incredible. Attack. They are basically every every one of them has a three star. Yeah, wow, that's that's insane. Only one with two, uh, two with two star left. The rest has three star. Wow. All right. Oh, the Gatling's getting targeted there by a Moab and oh, a Moab finishing off. But the bomber is finishing the Comanches. Oh game. no! What a mistake! Wow! Yeah, a huge loss for reference right there. And a ten missile strike, finishing off his own pilot there or no, it was a ranger. Wow, that Moab was a huge mistake. And a bomber also now doing Attacking nothing. Attacking the ground only, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate for the, the right team. Now the mix coming and uh, mix. Targeting down the Humvee and an artillery strike coming and targeting this strategy center. Okay, seems like Reverend finally uh, spent his money. Yeah, but losing his strategy center right there. And the EMP right on the command center. Yeah, strategy center off bad boy also gone. So both strategy centers are gone. And a Gatling. Army now moving in. We completely missed the fight with the Comanches, by the way, in the main base of DK Crazy. They managed yep. to do something. The propaganda center is gone. All the cat Gatling tanks are gone, but only two Comanches left. Yeah, but during this, he's attacking reference with everything he got. Yeah. Reverence uh, sitting on 3k cash, and he's sending a spec gunship to the Gatling tank army. But I don't think the Spectre will survive so long. And here comes the Spectre. And the Gatling tanks doing the split. Yeah, very good. And Spectre gunship gone in no time. The two Comanches in DK Crazy's base finishing off the one of the supply centers, which will hurt DK Crazy absolutely not at all. But losing that reactor could be could be a good hit. Yeah. yeah the the problem is he can't catch those two Comanches. I mean, they are free star, they are invisible, he needs anything to, to, yeah, to, 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 get, to get them. Yeah, I think some mix would be good. But he has no airfield left and he basically is on a few buildings left. So he's in a pretty critical state, I would say. But also the right team is, so it's I would say uh, Dicky Crazy is in a better shape, 
but both teams are not looking so good uh, based on the buildings. Yeah, especially DK Crazy has both middle supplies. I mean, okay, one is running pretty soon out of money, but at least he got any income. Yeah. That's true. So the Comanche is now flying around searching for targets, but they cannot destroy anything because there are Gatlings everywhere on this uh, position. Oh, but they are trying it anyway, and ooh! Nearly losing one of these Comanches. That was close. A bomber now coming in, targeting the war factory and the barracks. And oh, losing all the Humvees to the Gatlings. Bomber completely missing its target there at the top. And the bomber of DK Crazy got its target. Yeah, and now we see the two flame tanks compared, uh, combined with the, with the Gatling tanks. So finally DK Crazy can do something. Yeah. That's pretty good. And the A-10 missile strike of Reverence coming in. Very nice. So Reverence base is now getting toasted. <laughs> And the a terminal strike finishing off that war factory and the propaganda center. Command okay. center of Reverence gone. That is a huge loss for Reverence. He also has only one supply drop zone left. So, yeah. How many Comanches has he left? I think only three. As far as I can see it. Yeah. Two on the bottom, one in his main base. Yeah, and that's not enough to stop all of this. Yeah. He will lose his main base very soon. Spectre gunship and a bomber oh, coming in. Not bad. But so much left. And uh, Comanche is now dealing with the reactor in the middle. There's also still this one sniped Humvee. No one seems to care about this one Humvee. Yeah, in reference, losing his completely main base. Yeah. And is trying to rebuild on the bottom. It's good thing that he is rebuilding his command center because the command center is the important thing right now. He needs that general promotions. Last supply drop zone of reverence has been taken out now. The Gatlings are now shooting at it. And the Comanche has been put into a safer position. Meanwhile, the two Comanches on the bottom left side trying to engage, but. They cannot find a good spot. They could take out the Gatling tank and it looks like yeah, they are doing it now. Gatling tank gone. Yeah, from a very nice angel. Yep. Uh, I mean ain't, yeah, angel. <clears throat> okay, what is DK Crazy doing? Okay, destroying another drop zone from Bad Boy. Mm -hmm. And the Comanche is oh, losing one Comanche there to the listening outpost. And the Gatling tank, so only one Comanche there left at the bottom left. Huge Gatling and Quad Cannon uh, army coming in from the left bottom. DK Crazy sitting on 3k cash, 53 units. Reverence on 10 cash and 6 units. Bad Boy on 200 cash, 11 units. So, DK Crazy with so many units. Yeah. Looks like it uh, um, that Reference and Bad Boy are really trying to to bunker and hold on with the with the promotions as good as they can. Yeah. There's also a drop coming in or no a EMP I think by DK Crazy and the EMP is going to disable those Humvees by the looks of it. And will it reach its target? Oh, there's also Frenzy. And there is the drop EMP, but only disabling one Humvee. Nice bomber. Oh, Killing nearly everything. That was beautiful. Very nicely done there. Very well executed there with the Moab. And this will give Bad Boy and Reverence some, some time to swipe this. Oh, I think DK Crazy have to return. Yeah. That's the better option. Yeah. Too many Humvees. I mean, it looks like it they, that they are still empty, but mm -hmm. uh, oh. combined with the fire bases, he can't do anything. Two Comanches again harassing the base of DK Crazy. Oh, yeah, almost they are still one. alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bomber taking out three Humvees and the artillery platform plus a uh, supply drop zone. Good hit there with the Bomber. Threat 
the strategy center has no uh, battle plan. Or does it have a search and destroy? I, I don't think it has a battle plan. Or what would you say? No, I'm, no, I'm not quite sure. There's a second strategy center going up. Oh, imagine one more up in this one base of both players. Oh, very nice. A single A-10 strike destroyed three Gatling tanks in the middle on the right side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Comanche is still alive and I think from the right position they could finish this command center. And yes, they are trying. The worker is repairing the command center, the Gatling coming in. Comanches need to return, as a re retreat, I mean. And there's a bomber and an A-10 missile strike coming in. Very nice. Oh, internet center gone. Hackers. Nicely done. So this means DK Crazy will pretty soon be out of money. Yeah, and will we see a comeback of the right team? It would be pretty entertaining to see a comeback of them but the looks of it it is going to happen i think we are going to see a comeback of both players dk crazy here now moving in with his last remaining units by the looks of it 37 unit he has uh, and half of them are now moving into the base of both players yeah very good trying to to attack from the top and not from the bottom where the fire base stands. Yeah, and also creating that flame wave next to the command center. I think the flame tank should go more closer to the command center to deal more damage. But another bomber. Mm, <laughs> that was a crucial hit there. And the command center survives. Yeah. Ah, the We've flame tank should have gone more closer to the command center. But Crazy was able to establish a tunnel right next to the uh, command center and is destroying now and trying to finish off the command center. Yeah, pretty good. And once this command center is gone, which is it, it is right now, this is going to cripple the right team so much. Also, the bomber destroyed something there. Okay, DK Crazy now mainly on GLA buildings left. Only a few China buildings uh, remaining. Most of the buildings are GLA buildings. Yeah, and those two Comanches still destroying a lot of his base. <laughs> yeah, those Comanches are hero Comanches. And it's very good that Bad Boy has four supply drop zones. And uh, this gives Bad Boy the opportunity to rebuild his commands and what he is doing right now. So the Humvee is now making the way to the bottom left position where the command center is located of DK Crazy. And once DK Crazy will uh, has lost his command center, this will be game over for DK Crazy, I think. This command center is so important for DK Crazy. Okay, A-10 strike. Uh, not A-10, um, artillery strike is coming from DK Crazy. Yeah, and it will target down the strategy center plus the oh. reactor plus the supply. Very nice. Hit. Oh, nicely done. Getting three buildings there. And also the supply center of reverence survives actually. Wow, that was a surprise. The Humvee is now moving in a, at the bottom left, finishing yeah. off this reactor, and the command center is in danger. There are also still this, those two Comanches left. Oh, but this is a huge army. No, there's no way for the Humvees to deal with this. Good thing that DK Crazy pulled back all of his units into the tunnel and secured his command center. Those tunnels are so important. <laughs> there were beacon there now by Reverence. By yeah. the way, so many beacons on the map. Wow. They should yeah. they should uh, delete some beacons there. Uh, Reverence still has no money. Left, so he basically has only his, his command center, a doso, and his supply stash in the middle. Yeah, and of course, his two epic command sheets. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good thing that he has this command center still under his control, so with that, he can actually support his uh, ally. 
Without that command center, he should. Uh, he should oh, a nice just bomber, surrender. destroying nearly every Humvee. Yeah. Oh, this this was a good hit there. Yeah. Plus EMP, and now the army is attacking from DK Crazy. Yeah, and that's the right timing there for DK Crazy to move in. Oh, it, it, this looks very very hard for for Bad Boy in reference right now. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't see any defense at all left. Airfield on 100%. And uh, losing almost everything now. I think that's it. I think that's the game. Base oh, has see. power again. And there is no plane coming in. But a plane would be good. Oh, I have a bit of a frame drop right now. Yeah, me too right now. <laughs> Oh, bad boy is losing his command center. Yeah, and it's oh, gone. Oh, but bombers are coming and the inspector. Yeah. Oh, and finishing everything. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, Very nicely, nice. nicely done. Perfect, perfect counter. And DK Garrett gives up. Very nice play by by both. Yeah. And of course, of the of the Virgin victorious. team as well. That was such a close game. Oh, I think one. One unit was needed for DK Crazy to finish off this game because both players on the right side had no command centers left by the looks of it. They only had the strategy centers left and a few rangers. So actually one unit left for DK Crazy would have finished off this game in his favor. Yeah, but exactly. uh, since all the units got uh, destroyed there by the Moab, this was GG right there. Oh, for such a close game. Holy shit. Yeah. We can see that DK Crazy there in the top with uh, 208 created units. He lost more than he created, but that's because uh, of the uh, of the tunnels which give free units and so on and so on. And yeah, yeah, it was a pretty interesting game. Yeah, and the and what I find find um, yeah, what's really interesting is that. Um, Sexy only collected nearly seventy thousand cash, while his mate has yeah more than than twice the income. Also, funny fact is that Reverence and Sexy are almost at the same uh, income, same supplies collected. Considering the fact that Reverence stayed till the end of this game and Sexy dropped out after eight minutes. That's a funny fact right there. Okay, so that was a pretty good game. And uh, I thank you very much for commentating this game with me. Was yeah, I have fun. to thank you for the opportunity to, to cast with you. It was a pleasure. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, for me too. And I hope all people enjoyed the game. Yeah, if you liked it, leave a comment below. Tell us what you think. And more is going to follow if you like this series. Thank you for watching, and uh, this is your scenes HD. That that is your part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.